Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Oh, just some scary movie. You like scary movies? Uh huh. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 smartest horror movie victims. Why don't we just wait here for a little while? See what happens. For this list, we'll be looking at the horror film Prey that used their wits and brains to give their assailants a run for their money. Obviously, spoilers ahead. Let us know in the comments who your favorite horror movie victims are. Number 10. Sydney Prescott, The Scream Franchise Most horror heroines don't survive a single go-around with a hunting knife, but this perennial victim has outsmarted mass killers on five separate occasions. Hot flash, Corey. Crank calls are a criminal offense prosecuted under penal code 653M. Mm. Hope you enjoyed the movie. In horror movie years, she's practically ancient, but that hasn't slowed her wit at all. From her first chilling call with Ghostface, Sydney makes it clear she's smarter than your average final girl, and that wit only grows with each encounter. She don't know the rules? Uh, have an aneurysm, why don't you? There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. Five films in, she's not only a pro at surviving the bloodshed, but she's picked up a few self-defense moves too. In all of horror, it's hard to find anyone with as lengthy or impressive a track record as Sydney. Terror Train, Prom Night. How come Jamie Lee Curtis is in all of these movies? She's the scream. Number 9. R.J. McCready, The Thing. If it weren't for this sensible helicopter pilot, this classic horror film may have been a lot shorter. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of record. To be fair, we can't blame the scientists for freaking out at the realization they're trapped in an Antarctic bunker with a mimicking, bloodthirsty monster. But that's what makes McCready's take charge attitude all the more impressive. He may have forced their hand, but it's undeniable this pilot effectively diffused the rising paranoia. Despite being surrounded by intelligent scientists, it's McCready who devises the plan to flush the monster out in one of the film's most iconic sequences. We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. We're gonna find out who's the thing. It's that clever thinking alongside with the willingness to torch anyone or thing that's been assimilated that rank him much brighter than his contemporaries. Anyone messes with me and the whole camp goes. Come on, child, burn me. Put those torches on the floor and back off. Number eight, Ben, Night of the Living Dead. You'd be forgiven for thinking Barbara was the main character of this classic zombie flick, but when the bodies start rising, it's Ben who steps up to the mantle of horror icon. Look, Look I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. But we have to try to board the house up together. When the leading lady goes catatonic with fear, it's this rifle-wielding heroic figure who takes it upon himself to get everyone through the night alive. You'll find him boarding up windows and killing any ghouls with no remorse. I dragged you out there and feed you those things! For all the chaos unfolding around him, Ben keeps a level head, managing to be the only one still alive come morning. In fact, for all intents and purposes, he does survive the apocalypse, at least the zombie part. All right, Vince, hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Number seven, Lee Abbott, The A Quiet Place Franchise. Fatherhood is tough enough without sound sensitive monsters, but by the time we find the Abbots about to welcome their next child, Lee has them in a well oiled operation. Sure, his wife Evelyn deserves plenty of credit too, but Lee showed from the very beginning of the apocalypse that he's capable of surviving any situation. We're all right. I promise. Despite all odds, he and his family have managed to thrive, relatively speaking, by following simple rules. Only talk in sign language, only walk on muffled paths, and when in doubt, head to the bunker. With how effectively he's adapted his family to life in the apocalypse, 
We think he's more than earned Father of the Year. <laughs> Number 6. Lawrence Gordon, The Saw Franchise As decades of horror victims will show you, outsmarting a psycho killer is no easy task but even more so for this resourceful doctor. Well, that's why we can't cut through these chains. It's why you won't break that glass. Every possible angle has been pre-thought out. I, you sound like you admire this prick. To overcome something, you have to understand what a perfect engine it is. Chained in a dilapidated bathroom with his captor not far off, everything Gordon does has to appear innocuous to Jigsaw's ever-present eyes. The mental gymnastics show off Gordon's cleverness, but he's also capable of making the hard choices in the name of his survival. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> You're just wounded, wounded in the shoulder. I have to go and get help. His will to live leads to one of the most brutal scenes in the genre. Smart in a vacuum, but easier said than done. For sheer willpower and ingenuity, Gordon more than earns his victory over Jigsaw, even though he doesn't stay a victim for long. No! Game over. Number 5. Laurie Strode, The Halloween Franchise Though in other continuities she's had slightly less luck, the recent Halloween films have turned this former damsel in distress into a master survivalist. You never wanted to listen when I spoke that night, and this is why I've been preparing for this for a long time. Laurie understands the first rule of horror. There's always a sequel as the killer always comes back. But in a refreshing change of pace, Lori hasn't been sitting on her hands since the first installment. Tommy! Tommy, it's me! Tommy! <laughs> At the cost of her relationship with her family, Lori has spent all this time devising a plan to kill her boogeyman once and for all. It's satisfying to see a seasoned veteran so prepared for another murder spree. And were it not for Michael's inexplicable immortality, we're confident she could take him down once and for all. You don't believe in the boogeyman? I believe in Michael Myers, a deranged serial killer, but the boogeyman, no. Well, you should. Number 4. Chris Washington, Get Out Meeting the in-laws is scary, even when they aren't this psychotic. What? Do they know I'm... Do they know I'm black? For the bulk of the film, Chris doesn't really feel like a horror movie character at all. You won't see him exploring strange noises or behaving recklessly. He acts, well, like a normal person. When the creep factor cranks up, he insists on, well, getting out. Have you got the keys? I'm gonna put the, the bags in the trunk real quick. Okay, um, yeah, they are in here somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course, it doesn't initially work, but it is a noble effort nonetheless. Even when all hope seems to be lost, he keeps his wits about him and manages to weasel out of everything thrown his way. For an average guy thrown into a less than average situation, he does much better than anyone could dream. I mean, I told you not to go in that house. Number 3. Michelle, 10 Cloverfield Lane Few horror characters have to eat dinner with their captors, and fewer live to tell the tale. And I wanted so badly to do something to help her, but I did what I always do when things get hard. I just panicked and ran. Not that Michelle has much of a choice, trapped in a locked bunker. She must find a way out while maintaining appearances as a grateful house guest in the ostensible apocalypse. To tell me you're going to behave. I will. The mental mind games never stop, but this heroine manages to navigate her predicament with wits and finesse from using Howard's temper against him to sharpening her crutch into a shiv, it's clear he chose the wrong girl to save. Michelle goes down as one of the most resourceful characters in the genre. Who else can say they made a hazmat suit out of a shower curtain? Come on. Number two, Aaron, you're next. Don't let her looks fool you. 
Erin is anything but your average final girl. She was raised on a survivalist compound, and boy, does it show. Can I ask you something? How did you learn all this stuff? Well, I had kind of a weird childhood. I grew up on a survivalist compound. She is how we all wish we'd react in horror films, calmly taking charge amidst the bloody mayhem. There's nary a moment of hesitation after the first body drops, and from then on, Erin is setting traps, outmaneuvering multiple killers, and slapping sense into her boyfriend's family. It's okay, it's okay. Look at me, look at me. You're gonna be fine, okay? Just stay it's down. Okay. okay. We almost pity the killers who go after her. At a certain point, it practically feels like she's hunting them. Take notes, everyone. This is how you survive a slasher film. It was, in fact, a very important part of my plan that you be unharmed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ellen Ripley – The Alien Franchise This legendary movie icon didn't earn her legacy for nothing. Get away from her, you bitch! Brilliant, determined, and never losing sight of the bigger picture, Ripley single-handedly proves that horror characters don't have to play dumb. In classic horror fashion, she's had her own share of sequels, and she's flexed her wit and survival skills in each. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? Can't kill the monster? Shoot it into space. Locked in a cell? Trigger the fire alarm. In a fight against aliens far exceeding anything humans are capable of dealing with, Ripley's smarts consistently save the day. Improve why she's the standard all future horror protagonists have to live up to. You know, Burke, I don't know which species is worse. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.